I'm Hannah Hart, and welcome back to Edible History. I gotta say, it's nice to see ya. Or rather, it's ice to see ya. Today, we're getting the scoop on early ice cream. Ice cream is actually one of the older desserts out there, despite the fact that refrigeration is fairly modern. The history of ice cream is somewhat cloudy, with many cultures developing many different types of frozen berry desserts. But one of the earliest ice creams comes from the Middle East. It's a stretchy ice cream called booza. Booza stands out to me because it's still made the same way it always was, with giant bats. Not those bats, these bats. Lucky for us, we're joined here today by one of the few people who actually make and sell it using the traditional methods. Here to talk all about Booza with us, we have Mahar Nakal, owner of La Mirage Pastry. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Thank you for having me too. So what are the special ingredients that make Booza Booza? Number one is Sahla, also Rebuda Mastika. The secret to Booza's stretchy consistency is threefold. Salab is starchy powder made from the ground tubers of wild orchids, mastic, a piney tree sap, and finally, beating the stuff mercilessly with a big wooden stick. This pounding removes the ice crystals in air from the cold concoction. Classically, Booza is kashta flavored, which essentially means candied cream. What are some of the original flavors that come with Booza? The original flavor is milk, sahla, rose water, sugar. It often also has pistachios, so we're adding those too. So are there any special tools involved in making Booza? Yeah, the special tools is uh, the spatula. Mm -hmm. That's what scratch the ice cream down. Okay. The stick, who we'll push the stick. Mm -hmm. That's just back and forth. So a lot, you have to be very hard. Boom, boom, boom. Wow. And flip it over, we push it again. This is to make it more sticky. That's like a giant mallet. Can, I, can I see it? Sure. Oh, wow, it's heavy. It is. So you have to be heavy to smash it. Yeah. Smash. yeah. Mm. So you're saying to make booza, we need this? Yes. Okay. Um, can I borrow this? Yes. Okay. Okay, no problem. Let's make some booza. Our research didn't find a written specific recipe for traditional booza, so we're going to go off Maher's instructions. So these are all of our ingredients. Milk, sugar, salah, mastic, salt, rose water, and pistachios. There's very little rose water in here, but whoo, you can smell that grandma coming a mile away. Frankly, I don't think this is gonna be that hard. So let's get boiling, baby. First things first, we're gonna mix everything together. Then while stirring, we're gonna bring it to a boil. And then when it's boiling, we're gonna keep stirring until it's thick. So we pour in our milk. Wow. Ooh, I feel so opulent. Now we're gonna add our dry ingredients. And, oh, the rose water, can't forget. <sighs> you can never forget. And a little pour. And now we just whisk it all together. It smells good, it smells good. I can smell the salab, which kinda has like, almost a cinnamony, nutmeggy vibe to it. And then I can also pick up the rose water. I mean, it already smells delicious. Like, I would drink this. Yeah, I would. Fun fact about me, I've actually made ice cream before. Um, the process was very different. I used a Ziploc bag, and look at the ice cream. It's so good. You should never be ashamed of yourself. No judging. So this is really starting to get thick. I can feel it thickening along the bottom, which is probably why we have to constantly stir as it boils. And it's thickening a lot along the sides. It's almost, almost like a really, really watery mashed potato. That's probably the cooking slob. The thickening. The thickening. Sounds like a horror movie. The thickening. Next, straining. I'm not gonna say it looks appetizing. Now, we take a break and let it cool. So, let's talk about how we're gonna freeze the ice cream. Obviously, this took place long before the days of refrigeration. So, how did they do it? Well, they used snow. We're not gonna use snow, I know, bummer. I asked, I was like, can we get some snow? Instead, we're gonna use ice, but it's basically the same principle. If you're like, where'd they get the ice? It came from the mountains, okay? 
We got our ice. Ow. In between the layers of ice, we're gonna add rock salt. Now that we've got our first layers of ice and salt, we're gonna make a gap in the middle and add our bucket. I recommend if you're trying this at home, use gloves. That's cold! One last dash of ice. And now, the final ingredient is time. We just wait for this thing to get super cold. Pretty cold to me. I think we're ready to make our booza. So we got our booza nice and chilled, and now it's time to pour it in. All right, booza, let's do this. Next step, I think, is spinning it to get it to kind of wave up to the sides of the bucket. We're trying to use centrifugal force. Ooh, oh, it worked. Yeah, baby. So a lot of our ice cream has traveled up the sides of the bucket. So now I'm gonna scrape it back down in so the cold ice cream can go mix in with the less cold ice cream and et cetera. So we just, now it's time to scrape. Ooh, that's ice cream. It's working. Now it is time to make a boom. I think I'm a little too short. Ha <laughs> ha. Feel good? I don't play sports, I've never played sports, so I don't know what my dominant hand is. Is it like, is it that, is it, oh, it's probably this. Okay, ready? Whew. Here we go. <laughs> now that the booze of batter is frozen, we have to tie the bucket down so it doesn't move around while I bash it. Here we go. Okay, so we're halfway through beating. It's time to fold in our pistachios. Okay, uh, got our pistachios. All right, evenly distributed, folded in. Now we go back to beating. I gotta be real, I really hope this booza is worth it. Look, it's getting sticky. This is getting sticky! Oh my god, it worked! Hey, excuse me, has someone been drinking? This room smells like booze. <laughs> That did not melt right away. It's not really melting at all. It's definitely got way too much rose water, but I will say that the texture is awesome. It's so much more dense. It really stays in your mouth longer. To think that people were making stuff like this 500 years ago, long before refrigeration. So even something as simple and sweet as ice cream has a really fascinating edible history. Ooh, we should say that every time. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Edible History. I don't know how we're gonna beat Booza, but we'll see what we make next time.